A Ukrainian army pledged to destroy a key bridge that connects occupied Crimea with Russia. I don't think we have to wait long this year for sure, Oleksiy Inais Papa, commander of the Navy of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, said recently. How any Ukrainian attack would unfold is unclear and there are serious doubts about whether the main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine is capable of pulling off a special operation against such a well-defended and obvious target. Russia has taken extensive measures to protect the bridge, strengthening anti-aircraft defenses and deploying a target barge as a decoy for incoming guided missiles. The main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine thinks it can disable the bridge soon. We will do it in the first half of 2024, one official told The Guardian, adding that Kirill Obudinov, the head of the main directorate of intelligence, already had most of the means to carry out this goal. He was following a plan approved by Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, to minimize Russia's naval presence in the Black Sea, The Guardian recalls that the bridge has been hit and repaired twice before. A raid by Ukrainian sea drones last July caused extensive damage to the road section, which runs parallel to a separate railway section used by Russia's military to move tanks and supplies. In October 2022 an explosion, Russia said from a bomb smuggled onto a truck, caused several spans of roadway to fall into the water. The Atesh guerrilla movement, the Telegram, reported Russia's deployment of S-300 air defense missile systems and Panzer S-1 anti-aircraft artillery systems to safeguard the Kerch bridge against potential Ukrainian attacks. Our agents are vigilantly monitoring the Kerch bridge area, read the caption accompanying the photos and footage released by the partisans. Ukraine's security service and main directorate of intelligence under the defense ministry were behind the attack on Russian Nizhnykamsk oil refinery in Tatarstan on Tuesday morning, Ukrainian media reported, with reference to unnamed sources within the intelligence department. A Ukrainian long-range drone hit the primary oil processing facility at the Nizhnykamsk refinery, after which fire broke out there, according to the report. The capacity of this processing unit is 8 million tons of oil, which amounts to 2.6% of the total annual refining of the Russian Federation per year. In addition, this plant is among the five largest refineries in Russia. We continue to work systematically to ensure that Russia has fewer and fewer opportunities to finance the war of aggression against Ukraine. We will continue to cut off oxygen to the gas station country in order to minimize the flow of petrodollars to the military budget of the Russian Federation, the source told media. According to Baza, at least three people were injured at the refinery. This is the Taniko oil refinery in the city of Nizhnykamsk in the Republic of Tatarstan. The region's governor confirmed the attack on the refinery, but in his statement, he did not specify the name of the refinery that was attacked. Russian media has confirmed that Nizhnykamsk oil refinery was hit, while stressing that the technological process was not disrupted. The Russian media also claimed that drones allegedly attacked a hostel in a special economic zone of Alabuga, and that two people were injured during the attack. Ukraine in recent months has stepped up attacks on Russia's oil refiners in a bid to impact Kremlin's highly lucrative trade in refined products. Kiev believes its drone attacks on Russia, the world's second-largest oil producer, are justified because Ukraine has suffered large-scale damage to its infrastructure from Russian airstrikes since the start of Russia's full-fledged invasion of the country in February 2022.